A growing problem in Southwest Florida. The potent drug is dangerous and devastating for families, and it's dangerous to first responders as well. Can you talk? Yeah, I'm just not feeling good. Okay, but stay with me. Open your yeah. eyes. Stay with me and open your eyes. That Collier County deputy needed two doses of Narcan in order to save his life. And now there's a bill going through the state that would punish anybody who exposes a first responder to fentanyl. Wink News anchor Emma Heaton joins us live in the newsroom now. Emma, where does that bill, where is it now, where does it stand? Chris, it's passed through the state Senate and is now being considered by different state house committees. Critics argue the bill would punish addicts and supporters say it'll save first responders lives. April of last year, a domestic related call turned into a race to save a Collier County corporal's life. Is there fentanyl in that house? What? Is there fentanyl in the house? Yeah. You okay? Rolling EMS. It was 5 trailer 10. I need an EMS to my scene. <laughs> Robert Palmer seized up and shook, but another deputy at the scene saved his life using not one, but two cans of Narcan. Now Palmer is talking about his life-changing experience in Tallahassee. He asked state senators to support this bill, which would charge adults who unlawfully possess and recklessly expose first responders to fentanyl with a second-degree felony. This is an invisible death that is now stalking scenes that we go to. The bill would protect law enforcement officers like Palmer and first responders who risk their lives to protect others. My scene wasn't anything that had to do with drugs. It was a domestic disturbance that came through dispatch. And next thing you know, I'm falling out from an overdose from fentanyl. If the bill in its current form becomes law, the measure would grant immunity to people seeking medical assistance for someone experiencing or believed to be experiencing an alcohol or drug-related overdose. Live in the newsroom, Emma Heaton, Wink News.